Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our alpha journey. Gonna be another quick one today. Though I will do both of those anyway. You may notice, still no corporate project for condensed scordite. Um, Creating corporation projects definitely seems to be bugged. Um, even the CEO of the corp can't do it. So, follow the bug report. We'll see if it goes anywhere. Anyway. Another day of not enough time and not enough sleep, so this is going to be another short one. <laughs> Alright, brace yourself for some old man rambling here. So, you may recall a couple weeks ago I went camping with some friends, came back from that with... Let's call it a sore shoulder. Uh, you know, basically like a knotted up muscle and, you know, the uh, shoulder neck area. <clears throat> Not a big deal, part of being old. So, you know, I didn't really worry about it too much. Um... Usually it, you know, goes away after a few days of sleeping in a normal bed. But not this time. Every once in a while, it just kind of gets worse. And the knot, like, spreads. I don't want to say like an infection, but, you know, kind of. And of course, because uh, your whole musculoskeletal skeletal system is interconnected, it puts tension on other parts of the body, those, you know, muscles that are responsible for holding those things in place respond by tensing up, and so you end up with a whole bunch of muscles knotted up. And this is not the first time that's happened to me but it is quite possibly the worst. <clears throat> and so what, and part of that is I, you know, unfortunately kind of <clears throat> let it go too long before I tried to do anything about it, but. Drive active. Um, so what happens eventually is, you know, starts off with just like a sore, a sore neck or sore shoulder, um, like the, uh, you know, upper back, like, neck, whatever that transition area is between the neck and the shoulders, usually where the soreness is felt, you know, when that spreads, it gets to the actual shoulder and can cause pain in the shoulder joint, uh, and eventually also the elbow joint, and eventually the hand even so you know essentially i've got like muscle cramps going all the way from my the left side of my neck down to my left forearm and uh it is disrupting my sleep this is definitely worse than what i've had it before because i don't i can't even sleep in the usual positions i sleep in i have to like sleep in a specific way that is unusual for me and uh, <clears throat> and when I naturally try to shift into 
what is my normal sleeping position, then I get woken up by the pain, which doesn't come on immediately, but does always come on. So, that's the main story of why I've been in kind of rough shape lately, and uh, thus have not been able to put the uh, kind of focus into this game that's necessary to do the content that I'd honestly rather be doing, right? I would actually like to be doing some faction warfare, or maybe, um, you know, low sec or even null sec, uh, ratting and mission running, um, you know, that kind of thing. But... That requires me to actually be able to focus on the game in a way that uh, is just not possible if I've gone, you know, two weeks without a full night's sleep. So, you know, here we are with a whole bunch of short episodes where I just do easy stuff that can get knocked out of the way quickly. Um, it also means I'm not able to, re to uh, rebuild my buffer. Uh... And so almost certainly when I go to visit my daughter in two weeks, there's probably going to be some, uh, some days when I don't upload anything. Unless, uh, unless something changes dramatically in the next three or four days. Um, anyway. <laughs> I have gone to, uh, get massaged twice now um both times it's been you know an improvement in the short run but not well too early to tell for the second time first time it was definitely an improvement in the short run um but uh it didn't take i guess would be the way to put it this time we'll see i uh paid for a longer session and uh this lady uh, much more effectively put the hurt on me I guess is maybe the way to put it uh, <clears throat> which you know is, has kind of always been necessary for me I'm a I'm a big dude and did a lot of physical labor Docking in my youth, so, like, accepted. when I get knotted muscles, they're usually pretty serious and they require some significant pressure to break them up. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, I did that, I've tried various sort of self-massage things, like, you know, foam rolling tubes. Uh, I've got uh, some softballs I use sometimes. Um, another self-massage implement that's like a giant meat hook with various protuberances on it and like metal balls or rubber balls on all those protuberances. It's a pretty good tool, but insufficient for the task anyway that's kind of been my life probably more than you wanted to know but figured I should at least say something and you know let you guys know what's up. And why I've uh, been doing short episodes so consistently lately. Um, anyway, that's it for me for today. So until next time, have a good one.